Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here of OnlineBusinessManager.com. Welcome to another installment of Confessions of a Control Freak. As you know, um, I'm actually going through some changes in my business right now, uh, which are requiring me to, you know, bring on my own team. I've hired my own, own online business manager. You know, we're creating our own team of people to really help support our growth. And of course, part of this process is really revealing to me what I lovingly call my control freak. And I will freely admit that I can definitely be a control freak. So just want to share with you, you know, as I'm going through this journey, some of the things that are coming up for me and, and kind of places where I get stuck with little eeks and little pings. You know, it really occurs to me when I look at um, what it is I'm creating in my business and really knowing, you know, I really am pretty clear that I can definitely be a control freak in what I do. You know, it's kind of like, why is that? What's behind this whole idea of being a control freak? What is it that makes us want to kind of hang on to things? And I think there's really a couple of areas that, that um, or a couple of key things I think that can really get in the way for us. And of course, when we realize and can see these things, that can really help in actually starting to work through them and move past them. You know, first and foremost is really that whole idea of, okay, I am you know, no one will do as good a job as I can. You know, and believe me, this one is probably by far uh, my biggest stumbling block or my biggest hurdle in this whole process of being able to let go and let my team take care of things for me. You know, and I'll tell you, I had a really pleasant surprise even just this morning here. Uh, I had asked one of my team members to draft a broadcast for me and had just said to her, you know, hey, if you can just throw it together, here's some information. If you can throw it together, um, I'll take a look and I'll tweak and edit and away we go. And you know, and I'm expecting to get it back from her and to make a bunch of changes and put my own voice in, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? And I have to tell you, to my surprise you know and, and of course I can't say I'm surprised just based on who this person is she does awesome work right but you know when I received this this uh, draft broadcast that we were going to be sending out it was awesome there was nothing I needed to do to it you know and I, ha I tell you I had a moment of like I was reading through it and, I, and my first thought was hey this is really great you know my second thought was like oh I should change this piece I should change that piece you know I, I probably wouldn't have said this this way I probably wouldn't have said that that way you know maybe a little bit of this here and quite honestly I stopped myself and slapped my own wrist um, right in that moment because it really is you know it was one of those moments of hey you know what this thing is pretty darn good why am I gonna waste my own time and energy and effort in trying to tweak every little thing, you know, oh, I would have put a comma here, or, or I would have said that, you know, I would change these three words, you know, because really that's all that needed to, those are the only edits I would have needed to make in this, right? And, you know, I really had to stop myself for a moment and go, whoa, I don't need to do that here, you know, I mean, this is why I've hired the people that I've hired, this is why I've hired such a great team, um, so I don't have to be bogged down in that stuff anymore, right? And I really had to take a moment and pause for that. And it was a really great example for me of, hey, I am not, you know, that whole getting stuck in that area of, oh, I'm the only one who can do things and nobody can do it as good as me. You know, the fact of the matter is nobody can do, you know, maybe theoretically or maybe even in reality, people might not do things in as good, you know, I say that in quotes, as good as I do. Um, but that doesn't mean they don't do it in their own way or, you know, essentially as good, maybe in a different way. You know, and even if something isn't 100% done the way I would have done it or 100% whatever that would be, you know, that in and of itself can be a huge stuck place for business owners, a huge stuck place, because if we're going to insist on everything being exactly the way we would do it and, and us kind of jumping in everywhere along the way and, and tweaking and changing and all of that kind of stuff, then we're never going to get, you know, out of the day to day. We're, we're always going to be sucked into all that minutia of everything in our business, right? And of course, that's the whole purpose here is really as business owners, you know, especially when we're wanting to take, you know, we've built a foundation for our business and we want to take that to the next level. Absolutely, we need to get out of the way. You know, that's the whole point of this, right? And that's the whole journey for myself, I know, of, of being able to start to let go of this inner control freak. So I'll share more with you next time. There was a second uh, piece that kind of occurred to me around all of this, and I'll share that with you in my, in my next video. Until then, again, it's Tina Forsyth of OnlineBusinessManager.com. Take care.